founder and co-owner of Cardi Afro Foods, Cardi Fresh International. We are doing cassava leaf, okra, potato leaf, all the staple food of Sierra Leone, we are doing it in the UK. We import, we process, we package, and we, we supply stores and uh, other wholesale businesses. We are an agroforestry plantation of 236 acres of land, point three. We also practice agroecology. Most of our employees are farmers, essentially. And so we hope within the project itself, they actually learn something from the project and they take it to their own farms and actually have the same practices. After the war, I spent a lot of time trying to get investment back into Sierra Leone. So I got a contact from a New Zealand organization, one of the founders uh, of Kamakula, who rang me to say, we're trying to create this good karma drink that's all natural ingredients and the people who produce it do well, but we can find cola nuts. Because as I was promoting Sierra Leone, I happened to be going to West Africa, I found these communities. And these were eight communities who were working around conserving an island called Tiwai Island. Because the Sierra Leoneans, they don't eat any other plazas. They want their own. So they believe their own is the best. Well, our food is one of the best out of all the West African countries. We drive all the way from the southwest, Bristol, just close to Wales, all the way to southeast of England, two and a half hours of drive to get the authentic taste of Sierra Leone. We come to eat cassava leaf, pelletel leaf, cream cream, bologi, okra soup, fufu, and, and, and akara. You know, most of people that buying this place here, yeah, buying to us, they use cassava leaf, potato leaves, green, etc. etc. But we can't bring them here because we don't have direct flight to, from here to Sierra Leone. I ship from four different countries in West Africa. In the other countries where we ship, there is a lot of help from the government for their farmers in terms of logistics, in terms of location, in terms of establishment. So, but Papa government, help we, Lord, go back to the farming. Me not a big, I go on my knees. Lord, go to the farming, Lord, go everything from salon. Don't support them. Let them try to reduce the freighting. The freighting back here. We want freight and Ghana cheap. Gambia cheap. Salon can they say, the competition is too much. Ghanaian product is coming, Nigerian product is coming, Gambia product is coming, Kenya, Uganda. Look at, for instance, let me show you, look at Uganda packages. You see? Well organized, well packed, well filled. Even you open it to inspect, as soon as you see it, you would love to get it. We need a standard in how we treat the cacao, because cacao is it's the, the heritage of the country. In Ghana, there are standards. Here, I go, I drive down Kenema, High Road, in terms of the main road. I see people drive, drive cacao on the road. Cacao is it's, it's very, it's, it's one of those crops whereby it's, uh, it's very sensitive. It takes in gases. We do not do the transformation of, from the bean of itself, which is processing fermentation and drying, we do not have the skills there. Mm -hmm. I'm having to bring someone from Colombia, whose farm I've worked in, to come and do that for me, to come and teach people mm -hmm. how to do it. Packaging in Sierra Leone is very expensive. We don't have any factory that produce packaging. For example, this um, um, potato leaf, is grown up in, uh, in Sierra Leone, but bringing them here is very expensive because we have to put them in this box because it's cheaper when we use the basket. The basket is the uh, local weave basket that is produced in Sierra Leone from the rural areas. If the airlines allow us to use the basket, we that can create employment. I have uh, a whole uh, establishment of people who start 
the process of, uh, of preparing the goods for export. Currently, we have a location where everything is sourced and we have farms we have, we have invested and if we don't get it, we have other farms where we buy from. So although we are always inviting farmers to come forward with their produce so, can, so that we can look at what they have and we can motivate them and on what to plant and how to plant it and the species that are very, very good in Europe. So, so Unions need to go back and need to set up businesses and, and share the experiences. Um, we need to set a different standard of doing things. When we in the diaspora can help bring in some of our experience on what standards are, uh, uh, what standards are required to compete in the world market and at premium level, because I think Sierra Leone is too small to compete on volume, but on premium level we can compete with anybody.